you can put one story. It looks like if you take a look, we'll deal with the Santa audit first. And the the first sheet is just an overview from the clerk's office telling her that because I got more than 2% of the vote, I got my $100 fee back. If you look on the second page, that is all that you have to hand in as a counselor. Uh, you spend under $10,000. The limit on, uh, I think, in Red River Ward is about $10,700. Uh, so you can take a look at, this is the only sheet that I was required to hand in. However, and these glasses, you have, you have to give me for wearing these glasses. My wife told me to wear my nice glasses, but I don't have them. So. Anyway. Um, all you're required to do is just do that, that uh, fill out on the, the front sheet here, and you list who's made a contribution, um, and then you can take a look at the bottom, Mortal Santa, you put in the balance for a total of $9,547, which is the total that is spent. What this sheet doesn't tell you is that $1,200 of this is a uh, used for auditing fees. So it is not part of your uh, overage for your expenditure, all right? So <clears throat> I knew that there were some people hot on my trail, and so what I did uh, prior to even January, I, in fact, during the election, I contacted my accountant, and I said, I think there's somebody who may be pursuing me, so I want to make sure I do this more than correct. So if you take a look after that, you've got my accountant who is uh, done a review of my expenses and he fills them out and probably the best page to turn to is the page four. Okay. And you've got your total cost there which is $9,888.26 at the top. The accounting which is $1,070 is not part of your threshold. I had a threshold of uh, uh, $10,700. If you go to the bottom, it shows $9,888. Uh, and that is, act 20. that is actually what is spent, but the threshold is really $1,070 less. Okay? And uh, if you do the advertising, bank charges, meetings posted, etc., etc., etc. The What the auditor does is he takes all the information that I provide him and he does a review and makes a determination on that. As I, as I said to you earlier, as a counselor who spends under $10,000, you don't have to produce this statement. But if you think somebody's chasing you, I assure you, if you decide to run in a municipal election, it's a good idea. So that's basically the Santa uh, submission. Now, We'll have some fun. The, and this relates even back to the water issue, and we're going to get into the water issue. The uh, Chronicle Journal in January, when I was sitting on the Water Advisory Committee, made much ado about the THMs at Loch Lomond. <clears throat> in fact, they ran a headline saying THMs cause cancer. And they do. What they forgot to tell you is you had to drink 30 liters a day for 30 years, and then you might get cancer. So I, I told them that they were using fear-mongering tactics trying to uh, get people upset. And I didn't appreciate what they did and uh, threatened to boycott. And for the first time, and I don't think you can ever recall a Chronicle Journal doing this, they ran a 17 and a half inch critique of Councillor Santa. And you're welcome to come and read it. And you know, some of the things they said are not exactly true. But uh, they were certainly, we were certainly not on friendly terms after that. Now, <clears throat> we had to do our campaign filings by April 1st of the year 2001. In February, in January of the year 2000, this is uh, four, four and a half months before we filed, Ten Aussies and his people had already talked to the uh, city clerks, saying that they thought I was over in my campaign expenditures, and they must be psychic because I hadn't even filed till April. The 
drunk. This is not a conspiracy, by the way. But prior to Ken Odzies going to uh, the clerk's office and saying, I would like to have Councillor Santa's uh, expenses checked, the Chronicle Journal read one ad like this, and this is dated March 29th. Ken Odzies makes his application on April the 9th. On March 29th, the Chronicle Journal runs a front page spot saying, Councillors find election finance forms confusing. Forms don't show how much is spent on campaign. Time is running out for candidates to fill in forms. This is March 29th. You've never seen the Chronicle Journal do anything about uh, candidates filling in their forms or making sure they're compliant. Or, I mean, I challenge anybody to go through the last 50 years or whatever the Chronicle Journal to find them writing an article talking about councillors and their election forms and their finances. I've highlighted a few things that they do say. Uh, this is, I do not believe the form four meets the intent of what the financial statement was designed for. Uh, this is from Elaine Belita. It is not a true financial statement. Belita said the role of the city's clerk's office is not to scrutinize the declaration of the candidates. They just ensure the form is filled out. That's dated March 29th. And this is not a conspiracy. Anyway, on April the 1st, the Chronicle Journal runs another ad on the front page. It's called Hard Data. Deadline looms for disclosure of election funding expenses. But if a voter believes the information is false, the police and courts can be called to investigate, explains a government official. Incidentally, he was incorrect. However, it talks about hard data and uh, campaign election expenses. And uh, as I said, they've never, never done this in their last 50 years. That was March 29th. April 1st. April 3rd, this is before we've had it in our form. April 3rd, they run another front page article called, talking about war chest well stock, and they say money helps newcomers market sells. Um, just a little quote. Uh, Allard and the newcomer Orville Santa. Allard spent just over $2,100 while Santa's expenses topped $9,880, which is that number you have here. And my threshold was $10,764.50. I told them up and I corrected them because I sort of knew it was coming, but I told them I said it included my auditing, auditing expenses, but that's not part of the cost. They continue to run that $9,000 figure. <clears throat> and it's not over yet. <laughs> um, so we've got the 29th of March, April 1st, April 3rd. Here on April 4th, this is on page 3, campaign figures can be challenged. Okay? So this is all the preamble to before I'm even called to audit. Now, they would have no idea that Ken Austin was going to call an audit. They were operating in the back you would think. However, they do they do make certain information here, which leads me to believe they may have had some forethought.